Can you take me higher? Dude, what are you doing? What? I'm, I'm recording my album on my iPhone. It's, man, it's expensive getting into studios. There's so many ways to record at your house. You can even get a set of front of 500 bucks that is completely doable. What, what? Don't stoop to this guy's level and watch the rest of the video and let's talk about how you can get a home recording set up for under 500 bucks. That actually would sound pretty good. So without further ado, Hit that smash button and like it. Subscribe, it's awesome. What's going on everybody? Garrett from Track Sounds back again with another great tutorial today for artists and producers as well. We're gonna talk about how to get a home recording set up for under 500 bucks and how you can make it sound really quality from there. I do have a question of the day though. Have you ever thought about recording yourself at home? Let me know in the comments below why you haven't gotten a home recording set up or why you're thinking about changing it now. So I'm gonna try not to get too, too technical on this because there's real no need to as an artist or producer if you're doing this and you're not looking to be a big engineer down the line. This is just a way to to save money on studio time, experiment with a lot of things, not feel the pressure of being in the studio and on a time limit to be able to try new stuff that you want to because you just gotta get it done. And I'm gonna talk about a few ways that you can get a cool little setup at your own crib. Now the first big key though for this is you're gonna need a computer. It's either gonna be a good PC or a good Mac. You don't want something that is hard to even run, you know, Internet Explorer on or something like that. It needs to have a little bit of substance to it as well. That way you can make sure you get clean recordings going through. I also recommend making sure you have an external hard drive or you know a cloud-based system that you can save all of these files and recordings because they're not that small. They're not huge like movie files, but you don't want to lose any of these precious files and you want to make sure you have it backed up at least two places. Once you have your computer, I'm gonna go through, there's a few different things for Mac and PC, but a couple of them do correlate in the same. You're gonna need a recording software. Now there are a few package bundles out there that I'm gonna go into in a second that can pretty much incorporate all of this. But if you don't wanna get one of the package bundles, you need to pick what recording software you wanna use. If you want a couple free options, there's Audacity, which works for PC. There might even be a Mac version by now. I will update it when I check it out. And there's also GarageBand for Mac. Both of these are free and you'll be able to start experimenting with some basic level audio recording. There's tons of tutorials out there. Don't be afraid to go to YouTube University and watch some of these tutorials and just try some stuff. You'll be able to get the, the gist of it really quickly if you just put in a little effort and study it. Now there are paid programs as well, which I recommend you'll eventually step up to. Pro Tools is kind of the industry standard. I like using Logic personally, but I've used them all. Logic is basically the big brother of GarageBand. It's only available on Mac. Pro Tools is available on PC and Mac. There's also Studio One as well. My advice is maybe just do a few free trials on some of these. Some of these have subscription models now. Just try them and see which one just kind of looks the best to you and mess around and see which one you may think you want to work with going forward. There are quite a few different things that you'll need when you need a home recording setup. You need an audio interface. You need a microphone. You need a microphone cable. You need headphones. You need speakers if you want them, but you also could just make do with your headphones. You need a mic stand and then some type of audio microphone shield. There's a couple things around that will help deaden the sound. And that's pretty much it for just the beginner style. There are a few package deals out there that are sold, which include all of this that you'll need to be able to get started recording that have different reviews and different uh, capabilities. They're all pretty mid-range stuff, but you'll be able to get a decent sound of it, enough that you could take to an engineer to really mix and master for you to get crisp, or end up taking it to a studio once you know exactly what you want to do and you have it more refined for the final release. If you get better with mixing and mastering down the line, you might be able to up your quality all around just to keep improving, but these are some good beginner things to start learning the basics. There's the Focusrite Scarlet package, which is about $1.99 usually, which should include everything I mentioned earlier. There also is a PreSonus AudioBox 96 audio package that is available as well for I think 239 that includes microphone, audio interface, everything that is needed as well. I actually am using the audio interface from PreSonus right now, just in my little home recording setup here. Yes, I know you thought it was a million dollar studio, but it's actually just a hundred dollar audio interface with my nice Slate digital mic too that I do really like. Now PreSonus package also can go for 299 with the Studio One software, which would be the whole bunch Bundle as well so you would have the recording capability in a program all for under 300 bucks you'd be able to start recording and making your own music at your place there are a couple different other bundle packages out there m audio rock feel few different others 
Don't be afraid to check the reviews and also to even just try them out and return it if you don't like it and try a different one. Now I'll kind of just list out a few more different choices for each thing. If you don't want to do the bundle package, you can always pick and choose from different things. If you're looking for an audio interface, there is a solid state company, which makes the big SSL boards that everybody made famous. They also make their own audio interface. I think it's about $299, very good quality for the price. This will be a good starter audio interface if you want to go a little higher than some of the audio packages. Now, if you want to hit that next step too, there's the Apollo series, which could be the Apollo Solo or Duet. These are a little more pricey, but these are really, really good audio quality. I have the Apollo 8 in my studio and I love it over there. It is some of the top notch audio. Now, besides some of the other mics out there, there's tons of baby bottles and things like that. I'm not too big on the baby bottles. I like the Rode NTA is another addition of a microphone that is not too expensive that you'd be able to get. I think they have a bundle as well, but you also could get it solo. This is the Slate Digital mic. I think it's the N, don't, you know, don't, I'm not too good. I think it's the NL1 or NM1, something like that. I think it's about $5.99 now. They've been dropping the price. I got it on sale, but this was the price then. It's a really good mic, especially for something like this. I like it a lot too for recording, but it is a little bit on the pricier side as well. So maybe it's something down the line you'll look into. Headphones, there's tons of companies out there. AKG is probably the industry standard for a lot of them. You can't really mess up the headphone thing too too far. Just, you know, don't get really cheap ones because then they'll bleed through a little more. AKG is a good company, but there's a lot of good ones out there. Sennheiser, et cetera. Mic cables are very important as well. Don't get really, really cheap mic cables. If you can, get the gold-plated Mogami ones. These are the best. Just think about if you have a good quality mic, good quality interface and then a cheap cable that audio signal going through is going through a poor product and you're going to keep losing some of that quality so don't cheap out on the cable is my suggestion this is a good way to make sure you have good crisp audio without having to spend even more fortune on a bigger mic or this also could mess up your setup very quickly now also there would be something cool to have around the mic that will deaden the sound there's plenty of audio shields but there's also the chaotic eyeball to put around the mic this will help deaden any sounds floating around the room and give you a much crisper recording i highly recommend this if you do not have a closet you're recording or anything like that, this is probably your best option moving forward. The last thing you'll need is a little mic stand or some way to connect the mic. I have something clipped onto my desk over here that holds this mic. You can do something similar. I think it was about 20 bucks off Amazon, or you can get a regular mic stand if you like standing up and you can, this one's adjustable as well, but there's tons of other options with that. You can dive into more plugins and learn all types of things going here, but this is just a good basic starter system. You should be able to get all of this for under about 500 bucks. And after that, you'll, it'll be a really good investment to save studio time going forward. If you can save all that and get your sound down at your own house before you bring it to anybody going forward, this will pay for itself in the end, I promise. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I do really appreciate y'all watching all the way through as always and checking out the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know now. Now, until next time, peace. Smash it. Smash the like button, please. Like this channel. Garrett is awesome. And he loves Big Ed. And Big Ed loves Garrett, okay? So without further ado, hit that smash button. Hit that smash button and like it. Subscribe. It's awesome.